हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द थर्टीथ एपिसोड ऑफ जुमला 2.5 कस्टम कंपोनेंट डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू एनेबल पेजिनेशन टू योर चैट हिस्ट्री पेज इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ब्लॉक ए स्पेसिफिक यूजर फॉर चैट सो व्हाट इज द नेसेसिटी इफ समवन स्पैमिंग योर चैट रूम सो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर कैन ब्लॉक दैट यूजर सो दैट यूजर कैन नॉट राइट चैट आफ्टर दैट सो लेट स्टार्ट so for this reason we will place a link here um, another column like block user okay so let's start so administrator components our open chat and here so we need another column so let's create action now here we will write block user save now refresh this page so we can see the text but uh, we will uh, create an controller so when the user will click so it will go to a controller page where we will grab the user id and we will block that user so let's create an function in the controller so block user function block user dollar app application although we don't need this so at first we will grab the user id so user id j request get int id or better to say user id user id now when we uh, grab the user id then we will update our table name like this table okay so let's create a query simple because now we are using uh, in controller but later i will show you how to implement all this logic into a model after finish this chat application i will start the view how to implement view how to implement model etc so db j factory get db dollar db query set query update table name here has underscore okay now set sorry we have to insert there insert into stable we need only one values that is user id values dollar id user id so now let's run this query dollar db query so after uh, block user we will redirect to the uh, chat history page here okay so let's if the query runs successfully so if db query so dollar app redirect index dot php question mark option equal to sorry com underscore open chat ampersand user id equal to we will concatenate with the dollar user id okay now we will send a message in the second argument here the message 
that user blocked successfully okay now if the query not run successfully then we will show a error message so sorry we have to mention the task also so task equal to control v chat history we are redirecting the user into the chat history page so same thing i will copy and paste here now this time we will not pass the user id actually don't need user id yeah both will redirect to the history page if success or not but here he can see the error error occurred but this time we will tell that this is a error message so in the third argument you will specify error okay so hopefully it will work so let's add a link at the block section so this is the block so here we have to create a href index.php question mark option com underscore open chat ampersand task equal to control v and we have to pass the user id user id equal to now we will concatenate like hold on just let me finish the anchor tag yes now here we will add the user id value sorry this will be here so chat using this object chat id ok so let's save this and refresh this page so we can see link and if you look at the bottom user id equal to 752 uh, but if we mouse over on the user 2 so you can see 753 so let's block the user and uh, if we run this query like is there any user exist so select star from nothing exists so let's try to block the user one click user block successfully let's run this so we can see one entry there okay so now um, the user goes to the front end user one here actually logs in hi he can able to chat now we will uh, check whether the user is active or not if uh, it is blocked then uh, he will not able to chat okay so we will implement these features in the server side validation so we have validated this is blocked user is working chat history oh sorry this is chat history ok in the front end front end uh, controller so to the front end open chat controller here um, we are uh, saving all the data save chat ok and uh, we are validating also here if user id 0 so now here we will check if the user id is blocked or not so let's create a private method in the front end um, user is blocked actually we are not blocking the user we are just blocking for chat he can uh, log into the system ok so is user blocked 
we will take the user ID and we will run to query so for first it's better to copy some query so that yep. select star from where user id equal to dollar user id ok now dollar db query you can check whether query is run or successfully or not but i'm not going to run check so total equal to dollar db get num rows so you get if the number is greater than then it is is blocked so if total greater than zero then return true that means the user is blocked so we will not have able to chat him the return false so make this fun function private so that outside is not accessible just we access from inside this controller so is user blocks now we will validate here so if dollar this is user blocked like we will pass the user id if user blocked then we will send a message false hello you have been blocked by admin save ok so let's try to chat so here I'm going to chat hi so here you can see you have been blocked by the admin but if I log out and log in with different user like user 2 ok now if I going to chat hi but this time it's working ok so we have successfully implemented the block uh, functionality so uh, I need one more episode to complete this application in the next episode I will uh, display here if the user is blocked then it will display unblock user and uh, I will uh, do some few things and from the after that tutorial I will start how to implement view in your component so thanks for watching and please uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any question suggestion or you want any uh, tutorial regarding Joomla so please write your comment below this video thank you have a good day